Well friends, join me today as we are building a prepper pantry from scratch. Oh yes we are. I'm gonna show you exactly what items to look for to build your starter prepper pantry at Costco. And bonus points, we're also going into Aldi to see all the prepper pantry items they have in stock there as well. today and I am going to show you if you had nothing in your prepper pantry no pantry items whatsoever what you absolutely must get at Costco now we always stock up on batteries here at Costco I mean hello kids hello things it's very important to have a stock of batteries in your pantry also for emergency needs and now look here Costco also has these hybrid powered lanterns let's look at these here okay these are solar and they're rechargeable up to 200 hours of light having an emergency light source available is important too another very inexpensive thing to stock up on at costco is water even these cases of bottled water, I mean, you get a huge case for $3.99. It is very important to have emergency water on hand. We have seen situations in our news where people's water sources are unexpectedly contaminated, and that's definitely not a situation you want to find yourself in. Now, it doesn't have to be these smaller individual bottles of water. You can also stock up on gallon jugs of water. There's other items you can get for your prepper pantry, such as water purification tablets. When one of my favorite things to have on hand are the life straws. Now, I did not see the life straws in stock today at Costco, but I have seen them at Costco before. You can also order them on Amazon. They will filter, I believe it's up to a thousand gallons of water. And it's good to have at least one for every family member. Toilet paper, paper towels, and other toiletry items are also great items to stock up on at Costco. Now for my family, I like to have several of these big packs of toilet paper available in our pantry. However, for a regular size family, having one of these big packs of toilet paper would be great to have on hand. So don't laugh, coffee drinkers, this is not funny. If you are a coffee drinker, you will want to have coffee in your prepper pantry. I have, I almost said Tide Pods, no, I have the K-Cups coffee, but I also have ground coffee available because emergency, we don't wanna be without that. I think the almond milk at Costco is a phenomenal deal, $7.99. You get six of them in this box, and it is also shelf stable with a long shelf life. Like this box alone is sell day February 2024, and that sell by, and many times, most things are good for a very long time past that date. That makes these containers of organic unsweetened almond milk only $1.33 per container. So you're at $1.25 store prices pretty much, but this is also organic and unsweetened. And they obviously have a bunch in stock, so be sure to get several boxes of this. And if almond milk is not your thing, they also have oat milk. This is also a six count for $10.99. And wait a minute, mind blown, okay didn't know this was here. This is a 12 count, the same size almond milk, only 99 cents a quart. So a huge thing, shelf stable, 99 cents each. This is exciting. I've never seen this or this price offered at my Costco. So be sure to check your Costco. Then here they also have shelf stable soy milk, if that's what the dietary needs call for. I also think it's important to have some 
drink options such as lemonade to add to water to get more beverages out of it. Now oatmeal is another shelf stable pantry item that every prepper pantry should have. I personally love to get mine in bulk at Sharp Shopper, but this is a good place too. Now honey is phenomenal for pantry storage even when it crystallizes. It can still be used. It's good forever. Also syrup has a long shelf life and that you can get two of these for $8.99. Now peanut butter is a big thing you want to have in your starter prepper pantry. Costco has okay prices on peanut butter. Now the crunchy peanut butter marked down to $7.99 for two. That was pretty decent. I personally like to stock up on the great value peanut butter at Walmart. I'll just have to do a whole other must have prepper pantry items from Walmart that will take a dedicated video. You should check the peanut butter prices though at Costco and in your area these peanut butter prices might be a better deal or worth it while you're already in there. Peanut butter is something that has a long shelf life and is definitely important for a prepper pantry. Now sugar, sweeteners of your choice are another prepper pantry item. Also items such as yeast. Here you get two pounds for $7.39 and I've heard from lots of viewers who tell me they even put their yeast in the freezer and it lasts for years. And also items for cooking such as garlic and bulk items such as salt choices and pepper. Also things like condiments, like ketchup and mustard, also mayonnaise are important to have in your prepper pantry. Costco can be a great place to stock up on these items. Different sauces, whatever sauces your family love. By the way, I love that buffalo sauce. <laughs> Costco is a great place to grab them. There's some hot sauce and soy sauce. That's another great item that's very frugal to stock up on at Costco. One of my favorite things to get here at Costco that's a great value is the vinegar. These huge things of vinegar can be used for cooking, for food preservation, and for cleaning and last forever in your prepper pantry. Also, pickles are cheap and pickles last forever in a pantry. I mean, this is dated for 2025, so having a big jar of pickles can definitely be helpful in a prepper pantry. These big cans have been my favorite forever. Sometimes they have more options than this, but still $4.49 a can. And so for my big family, I would get several of these. $4.49 a can is still a great price. Now Costco has a lot of canned meat options. We got good old Spam. And then here they have sliced dried beef. And then here we have cans of roast beef. These are $17.99. And then up here we have sardines for $9.99. And then here, I really like having canned salmon on hand. And then we have all the different tuna options that are also highly important in a prepper pantry. And also stocking up on items such as canned beans is very helpful for a prepper pantry. And of course, dried beans have a very long shelf life, especially if you can get them in a food storage bucket. These are $1.39 a pound, and then these are $1.59 a pound.
And so here we have a 50 pound bag of long grain rice, 48 cents a pound, $23.99 for a 50 pound bag. Now for my tangled web that I weave, the 25 pound bags are only 50 cents a pound, two cents a pound more, they're 50 cents a pound. We are going to deliver this starter prepper pantry food to a single mom in our area. Her identity will be kept private, of course, and I'll be explaining more of that to you later in this video. But for me shopping by myself ease today, I am gonna get two 25 pound bags for 50 cents a pound instead of getting one 50 pound bag for 48 cents a pound. I'm sure it'll be okay. and cleaning products. Don't forget to stock up on items that you need in your prepper pantry, such as cleaning items. I always like to have these Lysol or Clorox wipes available. Those are very helpful. If you need Lysol, if you need dish soap, soaps of different kinds, if you would like to have some disposable cups or plates or napkins in case of an emergency, if you're not able to wash dishes for a few days, these are all items that are great to stock up on at Costco. So here we go. This is our pile of beginner prepper pantry loot from Costco. All right, friends, so we are unloaded from our prepper pantry items at Costco. Now we're gonna go into Aldi and I'm gonna show you exactly what starter prepper pantry items you should get there in 2023. Also friends, don't forget that right now for a limited time, just a little bit longer, the doors of my large family table community are open for a super discounted price of over 70% off. You can click the first link in the description below and join me over in the large family table community where I cook up a super mega massive exclusive party every month just for my large family table community friends, yay. So at Aldi, you always want to stock up on canned goods and check their canned good price. Like they have corn for 50 cents a can, which in 2023 is a stocking up price. So they also have these green beans are marked down to 50 cents a can. And they have peas for 58 cents a can. At these prices, you get a whole flat of 12. Also, the ready-to-go beans for 76 cents a can and 78. Then they have black beans for 77. Those are all great prices. And of course, having canned fruit is important 
Now the best value price in all of these is the fruit cocktail is $1.25 a can and they have it in both heavy and light syrup. Applesauce is fantastic for a prepper pantry. It has a long shelf life. And then this is a good price for peanut butter, $3.33, $3.39. So I would get several of these here at Aldi with a very long shelf life. And again, great prices on any condiments that you need to have ahead in your prepper pantry as well. Also, the ready-to-go soups. They have tomato soup marked down to 59 cents a can. Get a whole flat of that. And then they have chicken noodle soup. This is cream of chicken for 68 cents. They also have condensed chicken noodle soup here also. Also, this is the best price I've seen in a long time on egg noodles, $1.43. It's for a one pound bag, so stock up on noodles as well. And you can't go wrong with at least 12 jars of spaghetti sauce to start, especially at $1.45 a jar. So here's a look at our starter prepper pantry items from Aldi that we're gonna get loaded up now. So we are back friends from getting everything we need to get a starter prepper pantry going even in 2023. I feel like we came in fairly frugally. I'm gonna let you know all the numbers and the totals that we spent, show you every item, let you know the prices. You can definitely shop this list and look for the very best prices on these items in your area as well. So here's a look at everything that we picked up for this beginner prepper pantry in 2023. I do have my Aldi and my Costco items mixed up here, but that's okay. We'll just talk about Costco first, and then we will swing around and talk about Aldi. Both are great places to stock up on items. And you might be asking me, what do I need an emergency food storage pantry for? Why have a prepper pantry in 2023? And you also might be asking, Jay Morrell, what are we preparing for? I feel like the answer to that question is what are we not preparing for, right? There's all kinds of stuff going on all the time. Even to have an emergency food storage pantry in the event of job loss or cutback hours or job instability is more than enough reason to have an emergency pantry at your house. All of these items do not have to stay locked up for decades on end. Everything that we got for this emergency prepper pantry startup situation can be used and rotated and replaced. Once you have your good prepper pantry stock, as you use items, you would replace them. Those would be the new items on your list. Let's say you have three jellies and you use one jelly. Well, next time on your list, you can replace the one jelly that you used. Same thing with you get into your coconut oil and you're using it, then that's your signal. What needs to go on your next list is you need to pick up a coconut oil. I will tell you now as we get into this, I got everything in this brand new prepper pantry stock up for under $600. Now you may not be able to take $600 at one time and get yourself a prepper pantry stocked up, but you might be able to take $20 a week, 
$10 a week. At $10 a week, it would take you a little over a year to get an emergency food storage rotating prepper pantry set up at your house. At $25 a week, it's only taking you about six months to get this done. Now, if you get into a situation where you have another extra $100 here or there, you could go after more of the items on your list and get these items checked off. Also, everything that I got is a very general stock up. You obviously wanna stock up on items that your family would use in an emergency situation, like I said, whatever. If that's a natural disaster, if it's hours cut in half, and so the items on your list may be slightly different. Overall, I feel this is a very good emergency food storage and prepper pantry setup that can still be done in 2023. So having items such as dried beans can be very good to have in your prepper pantry. Beans, pinto beans go a long way. I have done many pots of pinto beans and served cornbread alongside. Also black beans can be used in so many recipes and are good to have on hand as well. We also have items, don't forget items such as pepper and salt and also cinnamon. This box of salt was under $1.50 and is fantastic to have on hand. Also soy sauce goes so well cooking so many different meals. Even having soy sauce to put on your rice and a can of, veg and a can of vegetables will make a great dinner. I have coconut oil because coconut oil is great for cooking as well. It is also shelf stable for a long time. This is dated for December 2024. Also, yeast, to have yeast on hand is important. Now you'll see I did not get any flour in this prepper pantry haul, but flour is definitely something that you want to consider getting and also having on hand. I really like the canned chicken at Costco. It lasts a very long time. I mean, years and years and years. I always like to look at dates, although I know, that, I know they're not important, but it gives you reference. These are dated for 2026. You do wanna watch storing things that have the pop top. I have heard there can be a concern if those get open, if they get cracked. There's so many meals that you can do with these, and they're also an item that's easy to rotate through your prepper pantry food storage. Also, these big cans, such as these green beans, this is all that my Costco had available in the big can items. I know many people ask me personally, why don't I only do big cans? Big cans are just not something that's readily available and easily accessible. So I think it is perfectly fine to stock up on the smaller cans as well. Doesn't matter, it takes up the same amount of space. Sure, these are convenient, but those do the job as well. Now, I had shared at Costco, I'm not a fan of Costco peanut butter prices in my area. This GIF was a deal, supposedly. Well, I think it was marked down to $7.99, so divided by two, we're basically paying almost $4 each, probably mainly for the name brand. These were a little over $3 each, and I feel like that's a better stocking up price. But peanut butter is something that lasts so long. All of these, these are dated for 2024. I don't see quickly where those are dated. We go through one of the big, great value size things of peanut butter every month. So for a smaller family, this would be fanta a fantastic size to stock up on. Also having jelly on hand. Jelly is something that is shelf stable and also something that you can stock up on here and there. And even having something like lemonade or another flavored beverage. Again, in an emergency situation, you could be very glad that you have something like this available. There's 90 servings and it just, just gives a little something to that water, okay, okay. And this drink mix was $7.99. Now this pancake mix goes a long way also. You just add water to it, it's $7.99 for a big bag. So depending on your family size, even having one bag of this pancake mix on hand can definitely be helpful. 
Also having items such as minced garlic that's ready to go and vanilla. Now, of course, you know, we made some homemade vanilla over here. All of that is great, perfect world stuff. But in this day and age, you can also buy some nice vanilla from Costco. This is dated for 2027. It's a great thing to have in your pantry. And having items such as grated Parmesan cheese, this is a nice big thing of it, and even emergency pantry food such as a big box, this has 18 boxes of macaroni and cheese, can be very helpful. Other items to consider to have in your prepper pantry would be the lemon juice. You can also use that to flavor water and for other cooking needs. Honey will last forever. That is a great sweetener to have on hand. Even when it crystallizes, it, that just means you have the good stuff. And you can use your honey for years to come. Another thing to have on hand would be some items like some syrups or ketchup, mustard. These things don't have to cost a lot and they are very helpful to have in your prepper pantry. I also picked up some dried fruit. Now, of course, this does not have the same nutritional value as a mango that is not coated in sugar, but it is preserved. It will be good on your pantry shelf for a decent amount of time and it is something flavorful to rotate through. Also, items like raisins or craisins are also good to have in your prepper pantry. Now, some other items that I picked up, it's good to always have a supply of batteries ready to go. And this particular light has five power sources, so it's solar power, built-in rechargeable battery. It also takes D batteries. It has USB in-power charging, and also you can charge your phone with it. So this was a nice light for just a little bit over $22 to have ready to go to use in those situations. And of course, rice. So remember in the store, I bought two 25-pound bags. They also have the 50-pound bags for two cents per pound cheaper. If you would like that, this was just easier for me to haul in and out of the store by myself. Pickles last for a very long time. That's under $6 and then you get a pickle jar. Also having items such as chicken stock available and then you saw that fantastic deal on the almond milk. This is shelf stable and good for a nice long time as well. This is dated for January 2024. A really good price and something that will just sit on your shelf and wait for you. Also having items such as, these are the cup of noodles or ramen noodles. Of course, with the cup of noodles, you just add the hot water, but also having a couple boxes of ramen noodles. Again, you're thinking emergency. It doesn't have to be the food that you would eat if you were able to make a lot of food choices. It needs to be food items that are there, ready to go, that will last on your pantry shelves until you need them or until you work through rotating through them. And also getting items at Costco, such as this big thing of oatmeal. You know, oatmeal is a fantastic, healthy food to rotate through. This is says best before July 2024. I would, of course, use your oatmeal before that. In a perfect world, it would be great to do some easy food storage buckets and store oatmeal and flour and sugar and salt and beans and those items in your emergency food storage buckets. But this prepper pantry beginning haul is all about getting started when you don't have anything like this stored up and ready to go for an unexpected situation. So you don't have to start with the buckets. You can start right here with this and get yourself going. Also, to have a supply, I mean, hello, we all live through 2020. Have yourself 
I mean, for average, an average family, this would be a great stock up on toilet paper. In my life, I need to buy three or four of these at a time, but it's under $20. I think it's $19.96. You have a nice 30 roll stock up of toilet paper. Another thing, vinegar. You know, I've used vinegar in my cleaning for years. It's also good for cooking. There's a lot of natural remedies that you can use vinegar for, both white distilled vinegar and also apple cider vinegar and they just I'm not even looking I mean that says 2025 but whatever uh, you'll have vinegar for years to come and then having the Lysol or the Clorox wipes on hand I think is very important for a starter prepper pantry so again this is not an exhaustive list but this is definitely a good list to get you going. And then talking about items at Aldi. Aldi is fantastic for many, many things. And if Aldi is as far as you can get, you can do everything at Aldi in smaller packages, slow and steady over time, unless you do like a $100 or $200 stock up each trip. Their noodles, like I showed you in the store, this is the best price on egg noodles I have seen in a very long time. These are $149 a pound. Also, their spaghetti noodles. So get, so having something like eight to 10 boxes of spaghetti noodles, five or six pounds of the wide egg noodles, all very important to have on hand. So I'm sorry, I just checked. The egg noodles were $1.43 a bag, and those are one pound bags. And then these two pound boxes of spaghetti were $1.88. I mean, again, 2013, these are fantastic. 2013 prices. Also, spaghetti sauce. Definitely something that's frugal and simple and easy. It's a good place to work on stocking up a prepper pantry. And these are $1.45. Of course, I think they've shrunk a few ounces in recent years. These are 24 ounces. Doesn't matter. You can't get 24 ounces of spaghetti sauce basically anywhere I feel like for less than $1.45. So those are really great and frugal to stock up on. This peanut butter was $3.39 for a 40 ounce container. That's a great price. And yes, it makes that much difference to me. These being almost $4. <laughs> This being $3.39. I'm like, this, this is the better deal, the better, the stock up price on peanut butter for sure. And I think I missed this when I was talking to you about Costco, but I also grabbed a bag of the light brown sugar. You can stock up on regular old sugar. I mean, have a bag of your non-perishable pantry items that your family uses regularly. The goal would be to have some of those stocked up waiting for you. So these apple sauces are $2.95 a container, a very fine price and shelf stable for quite a while for your family. And in my house, it's an easy item to rotate through. And Aldi really does have, I feel like everywhere else in the universe beat when it comes to stocking up on your canned goods. These flats were not very expensive to get stocked up on and canned good items, they're good for years. Again, you gotta watch your pop tops of course, but on a whole, canned goods are good for many, many years. They can be good well past whatever date is stamped on them. And these are also very affordable and a great entry point to building your starter prepper pantry. Now I would have loved to have gotten a flat of the chicken noodle soup, the condensed chicken noodle soup, but let me tell you, because I am a mama who has had a very, very small grocery budget 250 to 300 or so dollars for up to a family of seven for many, many years. I can do a lot with cream of chicken and cream of mushroom soup. And in a pinch, in an emergency pantry situation, if you have some cream of chicken and if you have your noodles over there, or if you wanna use, mix it up and use your rice, if you're getting very fancy, you can add a little bit of canned chicken and you could even use some of your chicken stock. 
And of course, we can all talk about it. You can make homemade cream of chicken, you can make homemade cream of mushroom, but there are situations where you can't think and you need to just open a can. Be that things in this world you're dealing with or mental health or emotional things you're dealing with. If you have cans ready to go, they can be very helpful in those situations where you, you just can't do nothing else. You can't make homemade cream of chicken soup. You're not able to do it at that time, but if you have it canned, it can help you when it comes to an emergency mealtime situation. Same thing with the tomato soup. Of course, there's a lot of recipes you can use tomato soup in. You can also, hey, here's a thought, you can use this as soup. This is probably a, I would dump one can of water Let's see if this, combine one can of soup and one can of water. And if it's real fancy, you can combine it with a can of milk. Same thing with this cream of chicken soup. These soups in particular, cream of chicken was 69 cents a can. The condensed tomato soup was 59 cents a can. Again, we are in 2023 and uh, those are some good prices. Now, the fruit cocktail, you can get it in light syrup. You can get it in heavy syrup. It was $1.25 a can. This was the least expensive canned fruit that they had, but certainly something that's affordable, that you can get your prepper pantry going, and even if you, if you got one case of cans a week, or once a month, whenever you went, depending on how you shop, so for $15, you could stock up on a flat like of this fruit cocktail. Items such as this corn. So this corn, again, was a great 2023 price at 50 cents a can. So for $6, you could have a whole flat of corn stocked up. The black beans, these were 77 cents a can, so $9.24 for a whole flat under $10. It is good as you build and grow your prepper pantry to have canned good items and to have dried beans ready to go as well. Like I say, on one trip, get a flat of these black beans ready to go. On another trip, get a good size bag of the dried black beans. These green beans were also 50 cents a can. So here we go again, another $6 stock up just on the green beans. So for $12, you could have a flat of corn and a flat of green beans. And then the sweet peas were under $7. They were, let me look at my receipt here. They were 58 cents a can. So $6.96 for the whole flat and another good item to have on your prepper pantry shelves. And then these red beans were 76 cents a can. So again, you're gonna be under $10 for a flat of those. So total, I'm looking at my receipts here. We came at a little over $430 at Costco for all of these 2023 prepper pantry items. And then at Aldi, we were a little over $161. So for $591, we have a fantastic starter prepper pantry to get kicked off in food storage. Now, as I mentioned, all of these items in this starter prepper pantry haul are going to a local single mom who needs emergency food storage for her and her posse of children. So we are going to pass on this starter prepper pantry for her and her family. Also friends, don't forget to click the first link in the description below and join me over at the private large family table community where you can join me now for a limited time for a super discounted price. We have many, many emergency food storage and pantry building videos over there along with so many, many other topics that can help you in all of your super mega food planning for your family. So click the first link in the description below and join me over at the Large Family Table community while it is over 70% off for a limited time.
and let us know down in the comments below what are some of your very top items to get for a beginner prepper pantry. And of course, we know you can get into food storage buckets, you can get layers and layers deep as you learn different food storage skills over time, but I think that this is a fantastic starter prepper pantry to help someone get started in having food storage available for whatever might come their way. Thank you so much for doing the shopping with me and watching today's video, and I will chat with you down in those comments below. Bye-bye.